certain cults in the United States, but cults are becoming more difficult to detect because they often mask their identity behind a legitimate business or service. Channel 2's investigative team has found such a group, a national chain of martial arts schools, some of which have used mind control techniques to intimidate and exploit believers. They teach a martial art called Chung Mu Kwan. Pam Zachman reports on the cult and the Khan. There are 10 Chung Mu Kwan schools in the Chicago area and a dozen others across the country. They were founded here in the late 1970s by John C. Kim, a former maintenance man who promotes himself as a martial arts master. His followers say he has supernatural powers. His powers are phenomenal. They made him seem like a, a god to us. We talked to dozens of former students and instructors who've been with Chung Mu Kwan over the last 12 years. Most of them asked us to disguise their identities. They say they're afraid because the schools they were at thrived on an atmosphere of intimidation and violence. Our investigation found that some of the schools have also exploited students to take their money and to take over their minds. That's why experts call it a cult. It fits every single definition of a cult which I have studied. Joe Zimhart has deprogrammed several former Chung Mu Kwan students. And when students say they felt like they were brainwashed, brainwashed? There is, quote, brainwashing going on in this organization. Mind control? Definitely mind control. The Cult Awareness Network studies cults and has been asked to help several families whose relatives were involved with Chung Mu Kwan. They claim to be offering one thing, classes. And that is a front to draw people in to exploit them in other ways that the people never would have consented to if they had understood the agenda from the beginning. Many students are attracted to Chung Mu Kwan because the training looks impressive. The schools say that by developing a strong mind and body, you not only learn self-defense, but also learn to understand yourself and find true happiness. A school brochure says Chung Mu Kwan is an investment in life. To recruit followers, some Chung Mu Kwan instructors have targeted vulnerable people, those who are lonely, lack direction, or self-esteem. A former instructor from Minnesota says his school kept dossiers on students with detailed personal information. We looked for people's weaknesses. We would spend time in groups going over each individual student uh, and determining how to best hit their mind, as it was put. Experts say that some Chung Mu Kwan students seem to be subjected to a form of mind control that begins with a martial arts training. For example, constantly repeating a movement or holding poses for long periods on orders from their instructor. What happens is that they go into an altered state of consciousness. In that type of altered state, they be, they're very susceptible to suggestions. It's the same kind of thing that takes place in a hypnotic trance. Some Chung Mu Kwan instructors have urged students to abandon their future plans, like college. College education was discouraged. This was a a much better form of education. This former student told his instructors that he was planning to get married. They said it was a bad idea that a wife could, would only hold you back and that she couldn't do for you what the school could do for you. Some instructors have alienated students from their families and friends, then tried to fill the void. Several former students told us they were pressured to move in with other believers. Why was that done? They had more control over you, so they had no other outside influence other than through Chung Mu Kwan. This woman was married to a student of Chung Mu Kwan. They controlled everything he was doing, physically doing, from the time he woke up to the time he went to bed. This woman's son joined several years ago. You feel like you've lost your son to Chung Mu Kwan? Oh, very much so, yes. Almost like he died. Some Chung Mu Kwan schools have exploited students financially, Former students say they were pressured to sign contracts and spent as much as $50,000. To get their money, some instructors badgered them with questions. Did you have any stocks or bonds that you could sell? 
you have a grandparent or a relative with money that would be willing to finance your black belt program? They wanted your money. That's all they wanted was your money. Followers even say some Chung Mu Kwan instructors have used intimidation to keep people in line. They would beat you up physically, you know, if you didn't do whatever they wanted you to do, whether it's sign a contract or open a door or hand things with two hands or forget to bow, they would physically hurt you. Some students have been told that John C. Kim, the school's founder, has secret powers. It was said that he had uh, a lot of healing powers, that he could essentially heal anything. He had a third eye in his forehead. That explained what? That he could read your mind. It was slowly brainwash you to the point you believe anything they tell you. Loyal students are promised salvation, and Chung Mu Kwan that's has an ominous that. term for those who quit. And that's what they said to me when I left, is you are walking dead. John C. Kim's Illinois attorney said Kim is not available for questions, but the attorney says Chung Mu Kwan is not a cult and the idea is nonsense. He says Kim is not responsible for the schools because they're licensed to individual owners. But if any of the owners are doing something wrong, he said he'll revoke their license. A spokesman for the owners told us they are simply a group of young businessmen trying to help people. Since the mass suicide in Jonestown 11 years ago, experts have intensified their efforts to identify cults and warn the public about potential dangers. Last night, the Channel 2 investigative team disclosed that a national chain of martial arts schools is a front for a cult. Tonight, charges of violence and intimidation at some schools of Chung Mu Kwan. Pam Zekman continues her reports on the cult and the con. This is a scene from a famous martial arts movie starring Bruce Lee. A Chicago area karate instructor says he was reminded of the scene when he opened a martial arts school in suburban Woodridge in 1982. The karate instructor says he was invited to a nearby competing school, the school of Chung Mu Kwan, where he was greeted by 20 students and their instructor. This person had such power over these people that uh, these people were like uh, robots. Just like in the Bruce Lee movie, Cochran and a friend were surrounded by the students. He says the instructor ordered them to attack. Quick, go destroy them! Kill! <laughs> In the movie, Bruce Lee wins after fending off dozens of attackers. In real life, the 20 to 1 odds were too much for Cochran. He was beaten by the Chung Mu Kwan students and then threatened by the instructor who's no longer there. And he said, in front of all these people, I promise you that if you open up your school, uh, we will kill you. He threatened to kill you? Yes, he did. Were you scared? I was terrified, uh, numb. Around that time, the police in several suburbs received reports of harassment, intimidation, and beatings by Chung Mu Kwan followers at some schools. This former Chung Mu Kwan instructor told us they were trying to put their competitors out of business. We were told to hurt them, and we beat them up. Put them on the street, put them in the hospital a couple different times. Why? Because Chung Mu Kwan is a superior art, and they were garbage because they knew another style of martial art. Other martial arts instructors were worried that the incidents were giving the entire sport a bad name. So they met with Chung Mu Kwan leaders and demanded an end to the violence. You know, this is not normal for a martial arts school. This is not the way martial arts schools operate. The violence seemed to end, but some Chung Mu Kwan schools continued to intimidate their own students and staff. Many of those who talked with us asked for anonymity because they're afraid. This former instructor says that when he quit several years ago, the head of the school, who's no longer there, threatened to have him killed. There's a lot of people listening to every word that the higher belts say, and they'd do anything, even kill somebody, if they were told to kill somebody. You really think that? Sure. Cult experts are not surprised. No, it doesn't surprise me that people would... Uh act out every single command that the management in Chung Mu Kwan hands out, especially to the instructors, because that is how they're conditioned. They're conditioned to behave on, on command. Well, this man remembers a chilling test of obedience 
given by a Chung Mu Kwan official in Minnesota. How many of them would knock out a female student on command? And almost everyone in this group of assistant instructors who were looking to become instructors raised their hand and said, yes, I would handle that without question. Several students at this school in suburban Glenview say they felt intimidated when they were asked to sign contracts and even more intimidated when they dropped out. This student says that when he quit last year, he turned down his instructor's invitation to discuss the decision at the school. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. They had swords and knives and spears and all of those things are very intimidating. You were scared to go back to the school? Oh, definitely. You, because you thought they would hurt you in some way? Sure. A student at this school near Boston says he was hurt when he quit. In a lawsuit, the student charges that the instructor grabbed him around his windpipe and said, how would you like to die right now? The school denies that anyone was assaulted. Several students say they were told that Chung Mu Kwan was responsible for the death of Bruce Lee. Lee died in 1973 of excess fluid on the brain that may have been caused by drugs. The Chung Mu Kwan version is that Lee was one of their followers who divulged secrets. This former instructor says he heard what happened to Lee from John C. Kim, the founder of the Chung Mu Kwan schools. And the way that it was said that he was dealt with is that a higher belt from Asia came over, was a seventh degree, came over and injured without touch. And that he died later from that. He does not believe the story. But what it does tell me is some very scary things about their thoughts concerning people that are what they consider against the organization and how they would deal with that. John C. Kim was not available for an interview, but spokesmen for the Illinois school say there was one school owner who was too forceful and that he was kicked out several years ago. Since that time, I don't know of any problems. They say thousands have benefited physically and mentally from the schools and that Chung Mu Kwan is not a cult. Do the schools try to intimidate students? Not that I know of. I'm told by an instructor, former instructors, that they're trained to be intimidating. That's not true. But in several earlier conversations, the same school officials threatened me if I pursued this investigation. Santi Furio said the school owners will come after you. They're not a gentle group. And Nick Gallo, an attorney for the schools, said the school owners are rockheads who act before they think. He said if I drop the story, they'll back off. If I didn't, he feared an accident is coming. Some martial arts schools are apparently using illegal tactics to recruit students. Last week, the Channel 2 investigative team reported on mind control techniques used